Hey guys, Tech Revolt here, or SR on my second channel. Um, I wanted to make this video because I've gotten on my main channel uh, lots of questions about what MEMS actually does, and maybe um, because you know when a when a scammer's computer gets destroyed by MEMS, you actually don't get to see what happens afterwards. You kind of see it crash, um, or you see it do. Um, pull up all the menus and all that stuff. So I wanted to do like a short little video um, on my virtual machine here and actually destroy my virtual machine with MEMS um, to show you guys what it does. And also we're gonna read about it a little bit here. First, um, to show you guys what it does. Um, now a little history here. Um, you can actually check it out on this page. Um, I'll have it linked in the description below this little uh, Wicca page here that uh, tells you a little bit about it so if you guys want to read about it and you want to find some more about it other than just what I show in this video uh, you could check this out here but it was originally made um, if we go up here originally created for Dan Coot one's viewer made mal malware series so a fellow youtuber um, had a series where um, his subscribers would create malware and he would test them out and basically just see what happens um, so yeah, that's that's basically how it was created. But what it what it actually does, um, if we go down here, this is just about the warning message and stuff. But it pops up the message in the notepad that says, "Of course, your computer has been fucked by the Mems Trojan." That beautiful, beautiful message. Um, but yeah, it works for Windows XP and up. Uh, and basically, what it does, you can see right here. Um, Overwrite payload works on all Windows versions um, from 95 onwards, which I think, wait, yeah. So it works from, are meant to work from Windows XP and up, filling on versions of Windows 9, especially Windows 98 and below. But the MBR um, overwrite payload works on all Windows versions from 95 and onwards. So you destroy a lot of, a lot of Windows versions with this. Ah, MEMS. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then apparently it's uh, um, also possible to work on Mac OS and stuff, but we don't really care about that right now. We want to see what it does. So MEMS Destructive launches multiple instances of itself. One renders the payload while the other guard each other and trigger kill windows. And kill windows is um, basically if you kill the task. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. You kill the task and then it just crashes. Um, like, you know, someone goes like, oh, no. My computer is getting screwed by MEMS. I'll just, I'll just close the task. <laughs> and then you close the task, and it's like, uh, uh oh, um, yeah. We'll kill Windows, and then kill Windows. Um, does the actual? Oh, uh, so sorry. So no, it's not that. But they guard each other, and then that probably is the crashing that happens. And then kill Windows, which um, creates all the boxes and stuff that you guys will see. So, um, you'll see it right now in a second, but in some of my videos, all these boxes come up, error boxes and random message boxes come up just saying like, oh, your computer's been fucked. Is, are you still using this? Are you, you know, like just random funny little boxes. And then what happens is, um, <laughs> the, it writes, um, the MBR payload written while note dot text gets opened is a nine cat animation right as a custom bootloader. And this write is likely to break your partition table if the installed system uses EFI bootloader and Niancat does not appear on startup due to different booting schemes, but the computer will still fail to boot. So basically what it does is, in layman's terms, it breaks windows. I mean, I'm sure with hours and hours of complicated, complicated work, you might be able to fix it. I think... Um, someone else I does I, I forgot their YouTube name but they attempted to fix it and they ended up failing it was like a three hour long video about them trying to fix the nine cat um, but basically it it basically destroys your windows whatever windows you're running it destroys it and puts a cat nine cat if you guys don't know what nine cat is um, it puts a nine cat so when you boot up your computer it's nine cat and if it doesn't work as seen, as seen right here, if, in, if the installed use system uses EFI bootloader, 9cat does not appear. Um, but 
if you're not using that, the nine cat will appear. And if it doesn't, then your system is still not going to boot in a window. It's still windows. It's still broken. So it's still destroyed. <laughs> so yeah, um, there's a, there's a lot more information on here. If you guys really want to, I, I wasn't trying to go too in depth on everything, but basically it kind of just destroys everything. R runs some, a uh, few payloads and then, um, has some checks on itself. So if you kill the task, automatically crashes windows so when you boot up it's a it's a nine cat <laughs> it's a cat um yeah so i went ahead and i um uh, d downloaded this here as you can see i got um mems 4.0 so i believe this is the newest version we got the master version here go away add so we're going to drag this here onto my beloved um virtual machine here so we're gonna take destructive here and this is what we're gonna run we just throw that away um, so yeah if you guys want to see the specs of this because it's probably gonna crash um, so let's look at let's, let's show you guys the specs of my virtual machine here um, which, of course VMware's hard drive doesn't want to work okay there we go um, so we got an i5-4460, which is actually is not an i5. I'm actually on an i7 right now. So that hasn't updated. It might show it here. Yeah, it hasn't updated, but it's on three cores. So I'm on. A, I'm actually on an i7. And I'm giving three cores to the virtual machine. And then I got five gigabytes of RAM. So uh, let's, I don't know, let's, let's get right into it. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So, um, you click, uh, let's actually, I'm going to click yes, and we're going to turn my sound up. We're going to turn it up here. The software you have just, actually, let me make sure it's not, uh, not too loud. The software you just executed is considered malware. This malware on your computer makes it unusable. If you're seeing this message without knowing, we well, just execute, simply press no and nothing will happen. If you know what this malware does and are using it in a safe environment to test, press yes to start it. Do you want to execute this malware resulting in an unusable machine? Yes. So last warning, creator is not responsible for any damage made using this malware. Still execute it? Yes. And here we go. MEMS is now running. Oh, uh, here we go, the notepad. Your computer has been fucked by the MEMS Trojan. Your computer won't boot up again. So use it as long as you can. Try killing MEMS. We'll ki we'll uh, uh, I can't speak. We'll cause your system to be destroyed instantly, so don't try it. So if you try to kill this task here, let me try and see it if I can find it before it starts. Uh, any of these. If you try to kill any of these, system will just boop. Gone. It's loading something right now. It's, I'm, I'm sure it's about to start opening the browser. And uh, yeah, there it goes. There's Google Chrome. What's uh, what's it opening? Oh gosh, it's lagging. Uh, <laughs> what is this? It's a Google Capture. It's not loading it. It's not loading it because it's a captcha. You see right here. It's it's trying to search up stuff. Can I can I click the caption in time? Wow, Google, you really, you trash. Look how bad Google is. There we go. John Cena, MIDI legit, not converted. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what's it opening now? My computer's doing weird things. WTF is happening. Please help. <laughs> and look, it's a MEMS video. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a MEMS video, the first thing that comes up. Oh, what's this? Dank memes or dank mems? Now it's looking up dank mems. I'm, I'm, I think about. Uh, I think the boxes are about to come up soon here. No sound yet. No, nothing from the speakers. Dank mems. So oh, it's opening up the control panel. I didn't open that, did I? No, yeah, it's opening up the control panel. Let me close that. Let me. Let me close this. Okay, what else, what's it gonna do now? Oh, oh. 
<laughs> there go the sounds. Paint. Microsoft Paint. Oh, when I hold the mouse, it doesn't make the sounds. Oh, no, it still does. Oh, look, it's moving the mouse by itself. I'm not even moving it. I'm just holding it. Oh. Uh, how to code a virus in Visual Basic. What the heck? How to code a virus in Visual Basic. Let's close that. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, you guys have seen this before. Oh, with the flashing. PC Optimizer Pro. No! Get these freaking scammers away from me. Close that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. WordPad? Still using this computer? Yes, I am. This, this is my favorite computer, and it's working perfectly fine. Oh, it's, it's starting to lag. Oh, there it goes. It's starting to lag. Uh, try and close everything. Don't save. Ah, don't save. Okay, everything. Oh. Oh, the sound stopped, stopped working. Oh, there it goes. Still, Yep, I'm still using it. If you delete system 32. <laughs> ah, close. Bonsai Buddy download free. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ah. Oh, it's crashing. It's starting to crash. It, it's like crashing and recovering. Mon Montage Parody Making Program 2016. Virus Builder Legit Free Download. Oh, gosh. Can I even close? There we go. We close that. Still using this computer? Yes. I'm still using this. Wow. What is this? Oh, I already closed this one. It it's about to crash. Oh, yeah. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. How to code a virus in Visual Basic still using this computer again I'm surprised it hasn't crashed yet on a, on a, on a scammers computer they usually run core to duo so this definitely would have crashed already but since this is on a, an i7 uh, yeah it's still going it's still going wow <laughs> oh it's opening up the settings again yes I'm still using it it hasn't done all the boxes yet. It's just done it. Oh, wow. There it goes. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Soft tonic. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, there it goes. How to get money. Oh, the sound's dying. The sound, I can't even, like, really click anything, can I? Oh, my gosh. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> oh, 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 it's opening up Event Viewer. Event Viewer? Where are my viruses. Oh, no. My I got to call tech support. Look, look what's happening. Tech support, help me. Did I see Minecraft? Does that say Minecraft hacks? Minecraft hacks download no virus. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, I can't even, like, can I click this? Can I close it? Well, I could close that. I can, oh, <laughs> this is, oh, this is a lost cause now. This, uh, it's, it's gonna crash. It has to crash. There it goes. Oh, wow. Task manager opened. Oh, sounds, sounds going away. Oh, there, it's back. It's back. This has actually been going for a while now. This is this is taking a lot longer than I expected it to take. Oh, now it's really going away. Yeah, it's it's really going away now. Woo! Let's just click on everything. What happens? Look at all these boxes. Yes, I'm still using my computer. Oh yeah, it's look at look at the taskbar. So much crap open. What? Look at all these prompts. How many prompts can I see? Oh, I can't. I can't even click on it. It's just. It's just dying. It's dying. Wow. Uh, this. The sound's really going away. <laughs> um. Well, shoot. I think it's. I think we should try and restart it. It hasn't crashed. So, I'm gonna go to my VM power 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna restart guest. Let's see if it can even restart. Can it even restart through the through the software? Oh, oh shoot! There it goes. Uh, the VM's crashed. The VM's crashed. Oh, blue screen of. Wow, we got a blue screen. Let, let's try to restart it and see what happens here. Restart guest. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. And that that's what a scammer sees. This is, this is what a scammer sees when he restarts his computer. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's hilarious. Well, shoot. that That's pretty much what happens, uh, guys. Let, let me mute this all the way. That's, that's what happens, and it's just going to be like this. Like, Let me try and restart it again. I'm, uh, it just stays like this. Restart guest has been trashed by the Mems Trojan. Enjoy the Nine Cat. And there it goes. Well, that's going to be it for the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys, uh, I hope it was insightful, um, informative, to so you guys can see what a scammer sees from their side. Yeah, other than that, I hope you all have a beautiful day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.